360 virtual tour videos show the surrounding view while traveling through an environment, and they have become a popular way for people to experience remote spaces. For example, students visiting prospective college campuses or families comparing vacation destinations. Unfortunately, navigating such videos can be difficult. Contemporary 360 video player interfaces rely on frame previews to facilitate navigation, but these previews contain visual distortion due to sphere-to-plane projection. For example, if the user wants to find out what it looks like around the entrance to the Louvre Museum in this video, it can be difficult using the conventional previews. We propose supporting 360 virtual tour video navigation through continuous orthographic perspective projections of the environment along the camera route, and we call these projections route tapestries. We present a method to automatically create root tapestries from input videos using the slit scan imaging technique. We first extract the camera trajectory and the sparse point cloud representation of the environment from the video using simultaneous localization and mapping. We assume that the scenes of interest on one side lie on a largely continuous boundary, which we can estimate using the point cloud. Finally, we take small slices of pixels from many video frames and join them together to capture the full boundary. We also build Tapestry Player, a desktop 360 video player that uses root tapestries generated from the video as its timeline previews. The Tapestry Player offers two modes for video navigation. The Temporal Mode navigation is linear in time. Note that because the environments on the two sides are at different distances from the camera, the two tapestries move at different paces and move very slowly when the camera stops. For a smoother browsing experience, we introduce the Spatial Mode which allows for navigation that is approximately linear in space. We compared root tapestries with two baseline interfaces using a target-seeking task. One interface uses equirectangular frame previews and is modeled on the YouTube 360 video player. The other interface uses two rows of normal field of view thumbnails as its previews. This design is a discrete alternative to root tapestries. Our results show that root tapestries allow users to locate targets 22% faster than with YouTube-style equirectangular previews and reduce the failure rate by 75% compared to the row of thumbnail previews. Please see our paper for details. Thank you.